I guess Scott's done taking the thumbnail. I lift these books back up. Okay, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new. Today it is April 30th and that means it is time for my wrap up. But since my wrap up is going to be super small, spoiler alert, I'm also going to intertwine my TBR into this video as well. So you're getting a two for one deal. So we're going to get into the books that I read this month, the month of April, and then we're going to get into the books that I want to read in May. The thing is, I only finished three books this month. It has been a very slow month, but I feel like I'm ready to accomplish and conquer my reading goal. I am three books behind schedule for my Goodreads goal, but I'm going to fly through it. We're going to get into it with the books that I finished first and then we'll get into my TBR. So the first book I finished, I did read the first Knock em Out book in March. I decided to read this book and that is The Things We Hide From The Light. The first book is Things We Never Got Over and that book was so good. It is one of my favorite small town romances now and I feel like I will recommend that book to the day I die. It is really good. I had high hopes for this one and I, I gotta say it did let me down. I rated this one a three stars and I rated Things We Hide, Things We Never Got Over. I think I rated that one five or four. I don't know. The thing is this book doesn't really stick to like one trip. Like I'm trying to remember a lot and I, I can barely remember anything. This is about the brother from the first book in the Knockout series. This is Knockout 2 and this is him getting over something that happens in the first book so I really can't talk about it without spoiling the first book but it's it's a romance between him and his brother's like friend. I don't know like I definitely could feel the tension, could feel the romance, or not not tension, but I could feel something was there. It's just I didn't feel like it was enough, you know, like I wasn't entertained enough. So for that, it, I rated it three stars. The only parts that I liked were when we saw some of Sloan and Lucian's like little clips, because that's the next book in the series is gonna be about them, which I think I'm gonna like a lot more than I'm gonna like this one, because it's gonna be like enemies to lovers or whatever trope and. Then I also like that we got to see Knox and da and I want to say Daisy because that's his nickname for her, but her name is Naomi. So that's the only parts that were good about this was the other couples. And you know, I feel like if this book was about this couple, I should have felt more enthralled in their story when I really just liked seeing the other couples. So yeah, so I rated this one three stars, things we had from the light. And from what I saw, like not a lot of people like that book anyway. So I don't feel like it's a you know hot take or whatever a lot of people just didn't like that book and neither did i so then i read everything everything by nicola yoon yoon i think so it was actually a film adaptation in 2015 and i did watch it back then but like i really wasn't paying attention i was really young back then I decided to read it for the first time and i'm so glad i did this book is just so nostalgic of that time it gives me like tumblr like kick vibes like the way they're iming on the laptop it's just like so nostalgic for that time and i really enjoyed this book i have something about ya that i realized this month is that i really enjoy ya romance because they're short they're to the point and the relationship is more emotional based than physical attraction and i feel like you really get more romantic scenes when it's not physical stuff being shown you know what i mean because they can't really put anything physical in a YA book so you're really just having to base their entire relationship on their conversations and I feel like YA is just where my heart's at right now so yeah I really enjoyed this book I think I rated it four stars oh I didn't tell you what this is about so this is about a girl Maddie and Maddie she has a disease like SIDS I believe um and her immune system just can't take being like she can't take being outside because she'll get really sick she's been locked in her house for like 10 15 years and she has not left her house since she was a child but then her neighbor like the house next door a family moves in and long behold in a boy her age ollie moves in next door and she kind of communicates with him through her window and then they exchange like their i am things and she starts talking to this boy and you see their relationship grow and it's just so cute you find out some things her mom has kept hidden from her and it's like relationship but also like coming of age but also like like the main focus is I feel like it, it's a good balance between Ollie and like her actual life like it's not just all about Ollie in this book so yeah I really enjoy this book and I would recommend and the movie is really good I just I remember it being good I haven't watched it in years but I just I know it was good and then the last book that I completed this month was 
none other than Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. So I actually did a reading vlog. If you guys want to watch that, it'll be linked down below. I did a read vlog on this. It was my first reading vlog ever, so it's not perfect, but <laughs> I did talk a little bit more in depth about this book and it's non-spoilers, by the way. I really enjoyed it. I think I'd rate this one a 4.5 and I think the books that are going to be in this series um, after this, because there's already three books out that are of the same character and then her brother. So I feel like I'll like those a lot more than I like this one, even though this one was really, really good. It's just so long. It is almost 600 pages and the font is like minuscule. So it was like so hard to get through. It took me like a week to finish it. I gave that one 4.5 and that one is about a girl who is going through something you could definitely like figure out what she's going through. So I'd also look up trigger warnings for this book, but um, she changes schools and she has a confrontation with one of the boys in the rugby team the first day and he is automatically like attracted to her but he feels like a protectiveness over her so you're seeing him protect her through school and he quickly realizes like it's more than like that feeling like he's definitely feelings for her they're both going through like troubles but you also see that they're also like confused with their feelings and coming to terms with their feelings and it's such a slow burn like they don't even end up together by the end of the book so i would just beware it is a very slow book but it's also like they're kids they're like 16 17 so take that information as you will i don't know how else to explain this book other than you need to read it for yourself because <laughs> it's really good and gibsy if you know you know gibsy is my favorite character and i cannot wait for his book to come out because i will be i will be on that book I will be reading that entire book the day it comes out. That is all the books I read. That is the wrap up. And now we're gonna get into TBR portion of this video, which is these books. Um, there's a lot and we're gonna get into it. So I actually already started reading one of these books. So I already started this book and that is Keeping 13, which is the second book in the Woods Atonement series. I read this one last month and I started this one and this one is called Keeping 13. So this is about the same couple after like right after the events of this book so i've already started it i'm on page 12 i know made a huge dent in it it's 600 pages so hopefully i can read this like pretty fast i'm reading this now and it is probably going to be finished by the end of this month so it is technically still on my tbr because i'm not finished it so i want to read a lot of summer books oh by the way these are gonna be a lot of summer romances because i want to make a video about summer rex and i did one last time but it was kind of like it was kind of like reused rex because i've recommended them so many times you know what i mean so i want to get new books to recommend so these are a lot of summer books that you may have seen before but i'm reading them for the first time this month hopefully so first we have one italian summer by rebecca searle italian summer so this one it hasn't been getting that popular but i have seen it in like target and barnes and noble I'm pretty sure it's about a girl who after her mother dies she goes to Italy and she finds the younger version of her mom in Italy. That's just what I heard. I don't know if that's right because I have not read the back. I don't like reading the synopsis so I'm not going to but that's just what I've heard from watching TikToks. I'm excited though because one I love Italy or I've never been but I like watching and reading things about Italy. I don't think this is a romance so I think that'll be fun. You know a little um classic fiction then we have none other than it happened one summer and hook line and fisher hook line and sinker right <laughs> I gotta keep checking to make sure i'm saying it right by tessa bailey so this has been out for a few years now and it's been on my radar for years and i just finally bought it picked it up and decided i need to read this just because i need to know what the hype's about you know um, I heard that Happy One Summer is definitely better than Hook, Line, and Sinker, but, you know, I gotta read it, figure it out for myself, and I thought it'd be fun to just read in spring. We have The Infinity Between Us by N.S. Perkins. Again, I don't really know what this is about, and I don't read synopsis on books, um, so I like to go in blind. I'm not gonna read the synopsis, but I'm pretty sure it's about a girl having to go back to a childhood lake house, and the boy next door's family is like living next door and there's like a war between them i don't know i could be wrong but that's just what i picked up i could be totally off because i haven't heard too much about that book honestly meet me at midnight which was also popular last year and i think this is about a girl who does a few like pranks at her lake house for the summer with the boy next door 
you're seeing a trend with the boy next door at lake houses <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing again could be wrong i haven't really heard too much about this book i just remember seeing it like i don't remember people talking about it but i remember seeing it on people's shelves so we'll see we'll see what's happening and i'll let you guys know in one of my upcoming videos <laughs> i don't really know if this one is a summer book but I, I feel like it's probably more fall because it's about like a ghost um this is the dead romantics and it's about a girl who falls in love with a ghost i believe yeah but that's it and i really want to read it because i'm curious and it says it was a good morning america book club pick so it has to be good and i've actually heard a lot of good things about this book so i thought that'd be fun to read also probably have some recommendations growing for fall already i have love and gelato which is a ya romance about a girl who finds love again in italy you see summer italy greece it's just it's a topic a common topic um again i don't really know too much about this book it was turned into a movie on netflix i know that but it has other books in the series like love and luck which is about ireland and then love and olives which is about greece so i'm excited to read this series and i've heard really good things about the first book i'm just throwing my books on my bed i'm making sure they're landing like nice and not messed up but just tossing them we're almost done three more books I have a book that was just released and then literally like three days ago and that is happy place by emily henry this is her newest release and let's talk about emily henry for a second because she has three books getting turned into a movie adaptation at the current moment three of her books literally i'm so proud that is my claim to emily henry i read her long before okay not long before i literally read her in like 2020 so wasn't that long before but i read before i knew she was becoming a movie a movie writer or a whatever I'm proud of her is my gotta say and i'm so excited for these movies i just know the beach read one excited. i'm gonna reread them because i haven't read any of her books in like well i read book lovers last year when it came out but like um people meet on vacation in beach read like i haven't read since like 2020 and i feel like i need to jump back on because i don't remember or was it 2021 it was probably 2021 because i think they came out in 2021 i really keep running out of storage every time i film this one part it's so stressful okay so we're gonna get through this really fast um then we have happy place so i'm just so excited for this book this is about a couple who broke up five months before they have to go on this trip but they haven't told their best friends that they are not together any longer and now they have to go on this trip and they're forced to share a room in this cottage in maine and i love books that take place in maine i just don't like literally any new england state like Connecticut, Massachusetts, like mwah, chef's kiss when books are just in there, especially in either winter or like summer, like they're just the best. Um, anyway, so I'm really excited to read this book and I probably will read this one next just because I need to read every single one of Emily Henry's books the second they come out um, and it's already been a couple days so. And then the last two we have are Elden Hildebrands and she is pretty much the queen of summer I heard and i have not read a single ellen hildebrand book so i think i'm gonna read 28 summers see what all the hype is about with this author and then also i have troubles in paradise which i got this one for three dollars at ollie's if you guys don't know what ollie's is it's like a store where they sell like either damaged or just books that didn't sell in stores in like target or whatever and they get sent to ollie's so if you live in america i don't know if they have it like all over the country but on the east coast they definitely have them and the books are like two to three dollars there so it's a steal and they're brand new books so i got this one there and yeah i'm gonna read these two books hopefully this one that's all i have for today those are the books i plan to read and the books i read and hopefully i stick to it you'll see at the end of the month what i did and didn't read and um stay tuned and also check out my other videos because yeah they're there <laughs> So don't forget to check out my other videos, my reading vlog that I just posted, and my TikTok down below where I post more frequently. So I'll see you guys somewhere else. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!